For the past three years, the province of Davao Oriental has seen yet another remarkable period of progress as it aims closer toward realizing its ambitious goal of achieving genuine development. Looking back, the province has gone through many significant improvements as the provincial government continues to advance its strategic priorities, particularly on infrastructure development, creation of investments, and fostering true and lasting peace. All this collectively created tangible results and concrete impacts to the lives of the people of Davao Oriental. As he assumed the post as Davao Oriental's local chief executive in 2016, Governor Nelson Dianghira, who adopted the principle of continuity and sustainability, continued steering the province's development journey, which took off from the cornerstone laid by previous administration under former Governor Corazon and Malanyao, serving as a springboard of his development agenda. In collaboration with equally driven development partners, who are also armed with a vision that matches that of the provincial government, Governor Dianghira in his first term, successfully achieved remarkable feats as he pushed for excellent performance, fostered a peaceful and investment-conducive climate, and strived for best practices in good governance. With the help of a dedicated team, while being strongly backed out by the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, Governor Dayang Hirang's administration crafted the updated Provincial Development and Physical Framework Plan or PDPFP 2017-2022. Aligned with the trust and target set in the Sustainable Development Goals, Philippine Development Plan, and the Davao Regional Development Plan, Moreover, he crafted a governance framework which adopts the ancestral domain strategy for the indigenous people's community and the Jama'a strategy for the Muslim community so that these sectors will have wider access to opportunities for sustainable development programs and empowered for a meaningful participation in the government. In this pursuit, Governor Dayang Hirang adopted in all his development programs his flagship strategy called NLD or Nagkakaisang Lingkod Bayan ng Davao Oriental, which banks on unity and convergence among all key players. Through the said strategy, Governor Dayang Hira was able to organize and propel his people into action to mobilize resources and government interventions in order to shape communities that are safer, more resilient, and more vibrant. This concept of convergence, inclusiveness, and civilian leadership, which the NLD strategy espoused, became a huge part in President Rodrigo Duterte's Executive Order No. 70, which aims to institutionalize the whole of nation approach to end the country's decades-long communist insurgency by touching the lives of people in an effective, positive, and inclusive way. With commitment-driven efforts, the provincial government, within the last three years, embarked on meaningful, wide-ranging endeavors which resulted in the following highlights. Leveraging on the strong partnership Forged with all peace and development partners, the provincial government of Davao Oriental has developed innovative programs and strategic initiatives in the pursuit of building peaceful and conflict-resilient communities. Through the governor's flagship program, Nagkakaisang Lingkod Bayan ng Davao Oriental Barangay Outreach Caravan or NLD BOC, which puts premium on social services, the government has been able to make its presence and genuine service felt by the ordinary people, particularly in conflict-affected villages and geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas which are far from vital government and private resources. Through the program, the government has been able to touch the people's hearts and minds through the provision of vital services as basic as medical and eye checkup, dental services, minor surgery, health and life insurance registration, processing of legal documents, livelihood seminars, and employment services, among many others, as well as the distribution of free goods like medicines, 
banting materials, farming tools, school supplies, and food packs. Banking on convergence and partnership. The governor's program successfully converged 74 peace and development partners from the provincial departments, private groups, civil society organizations, and national government agencies. Since its historic launching in 2016, the program has already reached out to 116 out of 183 barangays, serving close to 400,000 cooperators who are mostly from the ancestral domains and Jama'a communities. Through his brainchild program, which redefined public service and made significant impacts in the government's peace efforts, Governor Dayang Hirang has been hailed as one of the region's presidential Lingkod Bayan awardees in 2018. For its sustainability, the provincial government has crafted long-term plans to ensure that the program will continue to serve the marginalized and underserved constituents in the years to come. Moreover, as part of the sustainability mechanism of the caravan, the provincial government embraced the Executive Order No. 70, the President's new landmark national policy for peace and development, inspired by the NLD strategy. Believing on its cause to address the root causes of insurgency, Davao Oriental became the first province in the country to successfully pilot the new directive through an immersion activity held in the hinterland village of Barangay Taukanga in the municipality of Manay which served as a pilot area. Bringing along all key players and stakeholders at the grassroots to communicate with the locals to assess and diagnose the community's needs, the provincial government promises to implement the interventions necessary to bridge the critical gaps identified. Thus, would boost the community's trust and confidence to the government. The provincial government run Happy Home, which is a beehive of communist rebels wishing to go back into the fold of the law, continues to produce individuals or graduates who had once advocated for the long-running armed struggle against the government but are now the government's strong partners for its peace and development efforts. Since it first operated through the initiative of the previous administration, a total of 278 former rebels have benefited on the program's comprehensive rehabilitation services, financial assistance, and scores of other benefits. To date, more improvements have been introduced through the provision of new services and the construction of new facilities. These include the newly inaugurated Balai Duaan, designed to be a learning center for the children of former rebels. Being a shining example and the country's model in the implementation of the government's enhanced comprehensive local integration program that made a huge impact on the country's collective efforts to fight insurgency and in fostering peace, Davao Oriental was conferred the Kapayapaan Award by the Armed Forces of the Philippines in 2018. Amidst all these peace and development programs, Coupled with the focused military operations that dismantled red and white areas and eliminated strongholds of the new People's Army, the province has been seeing a massive turnout of rebels expressing their wish to surrender to the government as well as the voluntary surrender of members of underground mass organizations, thus winding down the long-running insurgency in the province. Meanwhile, aside from securing the province from insurgency threats, the provincial government is also committed to fighting criminalities through concrete security policies alongside police efforts. Crime reduction in the province has been significantly reduced. Since day one, Governor Dayang Hirang's administration has waged a war against illegal drugs with the concerted efforts of all stakeholders through various anti-drug abuse programs. 73 out of 79 barangays and 10 municipalities in the province have been successfully declared as drug cleared, thus making Davao Oriental the province with the greatest number of drug cleared barangays and municipalities in the region. The successful drug clearing operations coupled with the provincial government initiated Lihok Nagkaiusang Lumulupyo Conta Droga or Lihok NLD has led to the surrender of 8,686 drug reformists of which a total of 5,564 have been enrolled in the province's community-based rehabilitation and aftercare program. After the historic groundbreaking of the Balai City 
kailangan bagong bahay para sa bagong buhay. Drug Reformation Center, which is Davao Region's first drug reformation center initiated by a local government unit, the provincial government has partnered with a private service provider equipped with trained personnel and experts to operate the facility. Thus, not only enabling the province to maximize funds through this cost-efficient strategy, but also ensuring that clients will be able to receive the best rehabilitation and care they deserve. All these efforts in tackling illegal drugs have made Davao Oriental the only province in the country that earned a Gold Performance Award from the Department of the Interior and Local Government. Promoting safety and the culture of preparedness, the provincial government continues to coordinate and integrate all activities necessary to foster disaster-resilient communities by crafting the Local Disaster Risk Reduction Management Plan, Local Climate Change Action Plan, and Disaster Contingency Plan. As strategic initiatives, the provincial government has been able to improve emergency management through activation of the incident command system in times of disaster to properly coordinate response activities with partner agencies, promptly respond to disasters and hazards, especially during times of severe weather situations, organize a monitoring action team, medical advance response team, and volunteers forged a partnership with the Davao Oriental State University for the conduct of researches related to risk reduction and climate change as well as the implementation of projects like installation of weather stations and community early warning system educate communities through the conduct of several capacity training, advocacy campaign, mapping of fault lines, and other geohazards. Initiate the construction of a command center to improve monitoring and response to disasters, and fostered disaster preparedness in the barangay level by constructing multi-purpose buildings that also serve as evacuation centers. In all these continuous efforts on peace and order and public safety, the provincial government has been able to push through with its other development agenda, mainly on its thrust for industrialization of the agriculture and ecotourism, touted to address poverty, create a vibrant economy, and enhance the community's quality of life. Towards these ends, modest accomplishments have been achieved. Agriculture remains as the primary source of livelihood for a large share of population in Davao Oriental. The reason why the provincial government has invested in programs that have not only boosted agriculture productivity but also benefited the small farmers. Strategic initiatives under this area include implementation of the Pagkain at Kita Sustainable Agriculture Village Enterprise or SAVE program wherein farms are being geared to offer much more than just produce crops as they are taught to engage in value-adding farming activities, embrace new technology, and adopt climate change resilient appropriate farming techniques. Boosted the agri-industry through the expansion of areas planted to various high-value crops. Continuous implementation of the provincial government's food sufficiency program leading to the significant increase in the sufficiency level of rice, corn, and fishery. Provision of support to the fishery sector benefiting 4,057 fishermen. Strengthened veterinary services has increased the inventory and production of livestock and poultry. Investment on livestock and poultry development projects has benefited a total of 664 households consisting of mostly women and marginalized farmers in 50 barangays, 51 Jama'a communities, and 11 far-flung areas. All these efforts on agriculture helped the province achieve the following highlights. Became the champion province in the regional Gawad Saka Outstanding Agri Achievers for 2017-2018 and 
produced three national winners for various categories in the Gawad Saka Outstanding Agri Achiever in 2017 and 2018. The provisional government continues its focus in making Davao Oriental a premier destination for adventure, culture, and ecotourism, declared a tourism development area by the national government. Tourism business in the province is now fast flourishing as the construction of new hotels and resorts are sprouting. Moreover, in a bid to invite more private tourism investors to boost tourism in the province, the provincial government continues to complement and improve Davao Oriental's breathtaking destinations historical landmarks, unique culture, and unprecedented investments on world-class tourism sites and parks as it bankrolled the development of the province's top tourism sites. Aside from investing in the improvement of tourism sites, Governor Diane Hirang has been helping steer local events and festivals, drawing local and foreign tourists. For the first quarter of 2019 alone, Tourist arrival in Davao Oriental has already reached more than 1 million compared to last year's 801,479, an increase of 36%. The province has 259 tourist destinations and 1,490 tourism-related establishments. Alongside the growth in tourism and the rise on investment potentials, the provincial government is making sure that these developments are complemented by efficient and sustainable high-impact infrastructure facilities touted to improve livability and enhance economic vitality. The strategic initiatives in this area include enhancing connectivity through the local road network development program. Under the program, 21 major road projects, some with bridge component, were constructed within three years stretching to a total of 94.8 kilometers funded under various national government programs. These include the 14-kilometer Matavisan Road in Lupon, 12-kilometer Badas Kulian Sanghai Road, and the 6.5-kilometer Dahikan Bubon Road in the city of Mati. Allocation of funding through the Local Government Development Fund for the construction and renovation of barangay halls, covered courts, multi-purpose buildings, daycare centers, potable water systems, and the big-ticket Lupon Gymnasium. Acquisition of additional fleet of heavy equipment for the maintenance of farm-to-market roads. In support to governance, the provincial government has not only improved facilities and historical sites at the provincial capital, but has also started the construction of a new three-story building to decongest offices at the main building and has also initiated the landscaping of the capital park as an open space recreation facility for the public. With the passage of the universal health care, the province of Davao Oriental commits to join the national government in making health care services even more accessible to all its constituents through the Health Facility Enhancement Program of the DOH and funding from the provincial government. Improvements have been made at the five provincial government-run hospitals in Katiil, Malay, Governor Generoso, and Lupon, as well as the expansion of the Davao Oriental Provincial Medical Center in the city of Mati. In DOPH, Governor Generoso, Governor Dayang Hirang has inaugurated new facilities. Series of building expansions and structural improvements were also implemented at DOPH Lupon, Malay, and Katiil. Many improvements have been implemented at the Davao Oriental Provincial Medical Center which include the new state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment and the construction of a new three-story building which now houses the private rooms. 12 of which are now open to the public, thus decongesting the main hospital building. DOPMC has also forged partnership with visiting consultants enabling DOPMC to cater to surgeries in these areas. The OPMC provides indigent patients with free weekly ophthalmologic surgeries with free pre- and post-operative medications. 
In the effort to provide safe and affordable housing for Davao Oriental residents, the provincial government has partnered with the Social Housing Finance Corporation for a massive housing project. To date, more than 2,000 informal settlers have initially availed out of the 35,000 target beneficiaries. Processing is ongoing for the acquisition of the project sites, covering a total of 74.7 hectares in the areas of barangays Don Martin Marundan, Dahikan, Matiao and Don Enrique Lopez in the city of Mati and Barangay Limbahan in the municipality of Lupon. Social welfare services remain a priority of the provincial government, especially in catering to the province's impoverished sector who are coming from remote villages. From 2016 to date, more than 50,000 clients have already availed of the provincial government's medical assistance and financial assistance, covering burial, transportation, and hospitalization, amounting to more than 40 million pesos. While most clients are attended to at the provincial capital, indigent clients from far barangays can also avail of these services through the governor's satellite offices in each municipality. Moreover, the Reception Study and Diagnostic Center, RSDC, continues to provide a safe haven for abused women and children. Special programs for persons with disability and senior citizens also continue to create impacts and improve the quality of the lives of these sectors. Also, to cater to the special needs of persons with disabilities, Governor Dayang Hirang initiated the Persons with Disabilities Affairs Office, which is set to introduce programs and projects for the benefit of this sector. In the effort to continuously enhance local fiscal management, the provincial government continues to strengthen its income generation through its revenue generation program. To achieve this, the provincial government employed the following strategic initiatives. Intensified information and education campaign on local taxation, revision of the local revenue code, and recently launched the country's first LGU implemented electronic payment and collection system in partnership with CIS. Bayad Center Incorporated. This innovative scheme not only promotes efficiency in support of the ease of doing business but also raises the standards and integrity of revenue generation efforts. As a result of these strategies, collection efficiency in all four areas have significantly increased from 1.2 billion pesos in 2016 to 1.5 billion pesos in 2018. Amidst these initiatives, the provincial government has granted granted tax amnesty for delinquent taxpayers, particularly on real property tax, to provide them ample time to settle their obligations. This strategy is anticipated to boost RPT collection performance of the province for 2019. The provincial government also continues to facilitate employment services and opportunities aimed at curbing unemployment rate through job recruitment activities, special program for the employment of students, and cash assistance to poor but deserving students. In partnership with national agencies, various services have been provided such as free vocational training, free passport processing, and emergency employment services, among many others. Moreover, through the provincial government's livelihood program which provided cash assistance to 239 former rebels and for the labor cost for the construction of new building at the Happy Home funded under the Doles Integrated Livelihood Project. Davao Oriental became the lone province in the country to bag the Kabuhayan Awards 2019. Intending to provide professional, reliable, and competent workforce, Governor Dayang Hirang has appointed and promoted a total of 92 competent and deserving employees in 2018 and 2019. Determined to end the business-as-usual kind of service, Governor Dayang Hirang is intent on gearing up the provincial government departments and offices to become more equipped, adaptive, and responsive to the demands required to bring the province to its envisioned industrialization through the Institutional Strengthening Committee tasked to re-engineer the province's respective offices and departments. <laughs> 
Amidst all these developments, the provincial government also takes seriously its duty in promoting stewardship of the province's natural resources. The provincial government has implemented programs to ensure the sustainability of the environment and biodiversity through enabling LGUs to come up with a forest land use plan which serves as a guide in the development of the programs concerning environment utilization, protection, and conservation. Enrolled at least 500 families to the governor's flagship program on the environment dubbed as Nagkakaisang Lingkod Bayan ng Davao Oriental Forest Landscape Restoration for Sustainable Development. Aligned with the National Greening Program, the program ensures inclusive and sustainable development of the province's forest resources and local communities through program components such as forestry-based livelihood, Trees for Peace that provides alternative source of income on conflict-affected areas, and regeneration of watersheds. In the effort to protect the rich biodiversity, Governor Dayang Gila, together with local officials, strongly opposed the proposed mining reservation in huge tracts of timberlands and agriculture lands near the Mount Hamigitan in the town of Governor Generoso. In response to the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000, Governor Dayang Hirang led the establishment of Davao Oriental's first provincial government-funded sanitary landfill located in the municipality of Manay. The provincial government of Davao Oriental continues to strive to become a model for local governance through all its cutting-edge innovations after passing the seal of good local governance in 2016 and 2017 governor Dayang Hirang's administration has been doubling its efforts in order to sustain the culture of transparency creating opportunities and fostering excellence in performance in the provincial government moreover bearing in the mind that good roads is a reflection of a good governance, the provincial government has already started to institutionalize governance reforms, particularly on the improvement of the province's capability in areas of local road and public finance management through the formulation of the Provincial Governance Reform Roadmap 2019-2022. By implementing key reforms, the province's chances of attaining its medium-term development agenda would be enhanced. Furthermore, more promoting information and transparency in the government, the provincial government has built its official portal to world, the Davao Oriental Provincial Website, which serves not only as the province's promotion and marketing tool, but also a sustainable and efficient way to address communication needs. As the provincial government continues to make efforts on steering Davao Oriental through the road of prosperity and create livable communities, Governor Dayang Hirang is now leading the province towards industrialization, particularly on the sectors of agriculture, tourism, and investments, anticipated to create more jobs and a vibrant economy. Efforts towards this goal include the following historic groundbreaking ceremony of the highly ambitious big ticket $27 billion project Davao Oriental Industrial Park in the town of Banay Banay, promising to create 10,000 jobs. Groundworks such as the acquisition of land and construction of access roads is currently ongoing. Signing of a memorandum of understanding with Filipino Chinese investors who plans to establish fruit plantations, fruit processing plant, and engage on the sand and gravel business. Inviting investors to venture on fishery and aquaculture particularly bangus and vanami production. To address the present challenges in the coconut industry, the province is now exploring possibilities of investing and putting up its own facilities and processing plant to produce value-added products from coconut, thus securing income for coconut farmers amidst the plummeting price of copra in the world market. It also plans to explore opportunities for other value-added crops. Moreover, more high-impact projects that bid to improve services and boost socio-economic development are set to be implemented as the provincial government entered into a loan agreement with the Development Bank of the Philippines. Projects included in the pipeline are construction of more multi-purpose buildings, 
evacuation center, covered courts, and potable water systems, construction of a motor pool facility, construction of a world-class inland resort at the tourism complex that would be equipped with complete amenities and facilities such as private villas and dormitories, an amphitheater and convention center, among others. This highly anticipated project would not only address the shortage of accommodation facilities for tourists but would also generate additional income for the province. Moreover, the provincial government also looks forward to the construction of the 12-hectare Davao Oriental Sports Complex, operationalization and improvement of the Mati Airport, crafting of a resource generation enterprise development agenda that will explore more opportunities from various sources to facilitate funding for the various development programs of the province and implementation of the multi-sectoral inclusive and participatory governance strategy which will tap all key actors and sectors of society in the planning process in the creation of development plans. Over the course of just three years, much have already been achieved. And with the same steadfast commitment and enthusiasm, the provincial government, under the leadership of Governor Nelson Dayang Hirang, vows to relentlessly pursue its development agenda and work on what needs to be done in order to achieve its goals for the next three years and beyond. Leveraging on enhanced cooperation and the flourishing partnerships it has built with development partners over the years, the provincial government will continue exploring strategies and investing in more meaningful development initiatives in order to achieve its vision of shaping communities with empowered citizens, unlocking opportunities inclusive of all sectors of society and ensuring a bright future for the people of Davao Oriental.